Chris. Hi, my name's Chris Akabusi, former three-time, well actually not former, still three-time Olympic medalist, but former Olympian. Okay, and what is it like being in the Olympics? Um, the Olympics is the pinnacle of every athlete's career. You work very hard. For me and Kitty, it was five hours a day, uh, six days a week, and five years later, you might, if you're lucky, find yourself at Olympic Games. That is wonderful in itself, but to come away with a medal, it's even more spectacular. What was your greatest Olympic moment? My greatest Olympic moment was probably my first one. I was raw, I was young, um, I'd been training for five years. I was really excited to be going to Los Angeles. I thought I might be seeing Spider-Man out there, but they told me he lives in New York. Yeah. But, um, but it was just great to be part of the biggest pageant the world ever sees. And sure. to be with all these world-class performers. And I really couldn't believe it. One minute I'm serving in the British forces, I'm running in the army and the services. Next minute I'm on the biggest stage that the world presents as far as sports is concerned. It was phenomenal. You meet people from all over the globe, from Vanuatu, from Fiji, from the United States, from Russia. All with one purpose, to be the best you can possibly be. Fantastic. I mean, for the Olympics as well, what's, what's training like compared to any other event? I mean, is it a lot more strenuous? Do you a lot more focused? Obviously, being such a big competition, is there any different regimes you had? Um, the, the Olympics is the pinnacle of every, every athlete's career, but, but of course you have a training a regime depending upon where you're at. So when I first started off, I could only train at the level that I was at. Um, I went to three Olympic Games, and every Olympic game became more and more serious. So consequently, by the time I was at my last Olympic Games in 1992, Barcelona, my training regime was completely different to the very first time I went to um, Los Angeles in 1984. So they're, they're all like stepping stones. And the Olympics and the World Championships are the same sort of uh, championships as far as world class performers are concerned. But of course, when it comes to prestige, mm -hmm. you can't beat the Olympic Games. Of course. And next year, are you looking forward to it? Oh, I'll tell you what, it's going to be fantastic. Or should I say two years? Yeah, we know what you mean. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean, you know what I mean. Um, London 2012, I mean, the, the only regret I have about London 2012 is that I'm too old to be pay, taking part. It must be fantastic for all um, British competitors who are currently training and getting themselves ready to realise that, well, two years' time, Perfect. the whole world is going to congregate. London town to find out who is the supreme sportsman or woman in the world in a particular event. It's going to be fantastic. And I would say this, that I hope GB PLC really gets behind it. I was very fortunate to go to three Olympic Games and every one of those cities did the Olympics proud. When you turned up there, you knew that the, 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 the general public were part and parcel of that theatre. You know, we've got a role to play. If you're not competing in the arena, you've still got a role to play to be the guest that you would want to be uh, so you'd be the guest that you want other people to, to have for you when you turned up. Perfect. So it's been a good time so far then for you, yeah? Yeah, so far so good. Everything's brilliant and uh, looking forward to the Olympics in 2012. Good. Wink ball.